Bill Maher did an interesting new rules segment on his show on Friday. He's going to go off on liberals being soft on Islam. Let's listen. Cultures are different. It's okay to judge that rule of law isn't just different than theocracy. It's better. If you don't see that, you're either a religious fanatic or a masochist. But one thing you are certainly not is a liberal. To count yourself as a liberal, you have to stand up for liberal principles, free speech, separation of church and state. Freedom to practice any religion or no religion without the threat of violence. Respect respect for minorities, including homosexuals, equality for women. It it amazes me how here in America we go nuts over the tiniest violations of these values while gross atrocities are ignored across the world. Jonah Hill yells, suck my dick, faggot, at the paparazzi, and an entire nation goes into Twitter outrage until he is forced to perform that most debasing of acts, the talk show apology tour. Meanwhile, in 10 countries, actually sucking a dick can get you stoned and not in a good way. (laughs) We hear a lot about the Republican war on women. It's not cool Rush Limbaugh called somebody a slut. Okay, but Saudi women can't vote or drive or hold a job or leave the house without a man. Overwhelming majorities in every Muslim country say a wife is always obliged to obey her husband. That all seems like a bigger issue than evangelical Christian bakeries refusing to make gay wedding cakes. Ninety-one percent of Egyptian women have had their clitorises forcibly removed. 98% of Somalian women have. Ayan Hirsi Ali grew up in Somalia and is one of them. She was scheduled to speak at Yale last week, but the school's atheist organization, my people, (laughs) complained that she, quote, did not represent the totality of the ex-Muslim experience. Meaning what, the women who like mutilation? You're atheists. You should be attacking religion, not siding with the people who hold women down and violate them, which apparently you will defend in the name of multiculturalism, and then lose your shit when someone refers to Chaz Bono by the wrong pronoun. So that's just a little segment there. It goes on for about five minutes where he basically makes this connection that liberals are too soft on... Islam, that in the name of trying to be good people and in the name of equality and in the name of tolerance, they go too far in their acceptance of what is actually a conservative culture because it's a religion and it's dogmatic, and that is Islam. So, is he right? Is he wrong? Why, why not? Well, he's both overwhelmingly correct, okay, but also I think he does gloss over some nuance, so I have some minor disagreements with him, but... He's certainly right that there are certain liberals who, in the name of tolerance, they become tolerant of intolerance. So just to give one example, there was a Muslim group that lashed out about a Katy Perry video because there was some sort of image of Muhammad in, on like a necklace or something. I'm, I'm screwing up the details here, but either way, they wanted the video censored because of something in the video that offended them. They said, this is hate. Uh, this is hateful against Muslims or whatever. Now, of course, a lot of liberal, all conservatives and a lot of liberals came out and said, well, that's stupid. We believe in freedom of speech. Back the fuck off. Okay. But there were some liberals who said, well, let's not offend them. Yes, let's censor the video. Okay, well, then Mar is right. You're not, that's not liberal of you. Now you're agreeing with the conservatives because the Muslim group is acting very conservative. That's like Pat Robertson coming out and saying, ban, you know, whatever, the, this Jay-Z video because uh, this offends Christianity, the way girls are shaking their asses, and one of them is w- wearing a cross or whatever, okay? Uh, and what would liberals say in that scenario? 100% of liberals would say, fuck off, Pat. 
Like, who are you? Go away. We don't censor in America. This is about freedom. But when it's Muslims, a lot there are some liberals who go, all of a sudden they rethink it and they go, yeah, that's hate speech, so let's stand up for this persecuted minority. So, yes, he is right in many ways, and I also try to drag liberals along and say, guys, don't bite your tongue about our values and our principles because... It, you want to be more tolerant because you're not. You're being tolerant of intolerance and you end up doing the opposite of what you want to do. So he's right there. Here's where he's wrong, though. He glosses over some things. Number one, oftentimes when liberals defend Muslims, we're defending them from random killings and needless wars. For example, I don't like Mormons, but if Wyoming invaded Utah and started slaughtering people, I would defend the, the Mormons, okay? Same thing with us invading Iraq, us invading Afghanistan, us doing drone strikes in Pakistan, Yemen, and Somalia, and killing so many civilians. So, a lot of the liberal defense of Muslims stems from that. That we've killed so many of them, and we don't value their lives, and we kill the civilians, and then arrogantly act like, well, why do they hate us? We don't understand. Maybe because you killed their fucking nephew and their aunt and their uncle. Maybe that's why. So he glosses over that. The second thing is, Mar acts like Muslim terrorism is our biggest fear in America. And it's not. Now, is Muslim terrorism the biggest fear overseas? Yes. No question about it. I've given you the numbers before. I've gone over it in detail. Yes, 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 yes. But in the U.S., it's a different story. It doesn't matter whether you agree or disagree, like it or don't like it. It's an empirical fact. In 2009, the Department of Homeland Security released a study commissioned by the Bush administration. Conservatives did the study. And you know what their finding was? 56% of the terrorist attacks in the United States of America from the 1990s until 2009 were done by right-wing terrorists. So, in the United States of America, the people who are the most radical, this is a fact, the sovereign citizens, the patriot militias, the KKK, neo-Nazis, abortion clinic bombers, right-wing terrorists of all stripes. Okay? Now, you could argue, well, that's because there aren't that many Muslims in the United States. Okay, fair enough. That's a fine argument to make. I'm not going to counter-argue that. That's fine. It's fine to say that. But the reality is 56% of the terrorist attacks are coming from right-wingers in America. Muslims are not the problem in the United States of America. In fact, polls show that Muslim Americans are not only as Americanized as other uh, minority groups, they're even more Americanized. More American Muslims reject violence against civilians than any other group. More than Catholics, Protestants, and even atheists, my people. So that's something to think about. And the third thing is, and here's my biggest uh, bone to pick with Mar on the issue of, of Islam, is... Just because we disagree with Muslims doesn't mean that any argument against them is a good argument. And he makes that mistake. He makes that mistake all the time where because he doesn't like something, you could say anything against them and, okay, that's fine because I don't like them. So, for example, it's commonplace in America for politicians to say the Muslim Brotherhood worked with Al-Qaeda, or they just interchange the two. They'll say the Muslim Brotherhood, like uh, Louis Gohmert, Michelle Bachmann, the rest of them said, Muslim Brotherhood did 9-11. But they didn't. In fact, the founders of Al-Qaeda were kicked out of the Muslim Brotherhood because they were radical. So the Muslim Brotherhood, they really are a moderate Muslim organization, just like CARE is, but Marr would gloss over that. Uh, let me give you more examples. A North Carolina Republican said Muslim prayer is terrorism. Doing any Muslim prayer is terrorism. Conservatives were scared of Sharia law coming to Minnesota. I'm not kidding about this because of a swimming class for little girls at the YMCA. Oklahoma has repeatedly tried to ban Sharia law even though it's already banned and there's like negative four Muslims in Oklahoma. Bob Beckel said we should ban all Muslim students from America after the Boston bombing happened. Ban all Muslim students. And this one really highlights everything here. An Oklahoma politician said moderate Muslims are the same as terrorists. So, is Ma right that liberals need to get harder on the ideology and the religion that is Islam? Absolutely. And I say that all the time. However, is there certainly a, a truth to the fact that there are so many horrific anti-Muslim arguments used in the U.S., and they are, in many ways, a persecuted minority in the U.S. Absolutely, that's true also. And Marr disregards the second piece of this.